Hi guys, do you know some of us we are in these Gulf countries but we've never seen our QIDs? I know you must be in the same situation. You've worked in that company for almost one year or even eight months, but you've never seen what you call your QID. By the way, if it's your first time, it come across the channel. Uh, remember to subscribe and give me the subscribe. By the way, don't forget to like and share the video. Yes, let us try, try to talk about what we call uh, the sponsor, work visa sponsorship. Then we talk about the QID and some of the companies. Yes, some of us will be into these companies or some of you in that company. But up to now for eight months or even six months, you've not seen your QID. You did your medical. Nothing has been told you by your sponsor. Don't even redeem medical. All the medicals you are done, but you've never seen what you call your QID. I know most of you must be in those kind of life situations. You are out there many. Yes, these scenarios or these points of it all do happen. What can you do if your sponsor does not give you a QID? Yes, most of the times I keep on telling people, you have the right. Yes, there are rights that we have according to the law. There is where you need to play it cool or is where you need to play it in a 50% for you to survive in this Gulf country. We talk about the residence permit or we talk about the IDs. Uh, my best advice would be for kind of scenarios of, of kind of things I've got through or people I've got to meet with. I think most of them, like around 30%, I get to talk to. They're working in the companies, but you do not even have IDs. they done the medical, they did all the medicals, they passed the medicals. They are working in the company, they do not have their QID, they are being paid salary every end of the month, they're given accommodation, they're given housing. What tentatively comes in your mind in that kind of state? Yes, the first thing I will let you know, your sponsor has the QID. Because you cannot survive in the country to be in the country for more than that six months without a QID. So that sponsor has that QID. But he does not have to be to give you, does not want to give you the QID because of the hostility or what he sees around. Yes, you've been so unlucky to sometimes, especially people who are coming from Africa, that we are one person, we or we are we young people, that we are sometimes get to, to be impatient. So most of these uh, employers in the Gulf countries are tentative begin to learn us or get to, to know our characteristics. And they definitely know that this him or him not giving you the key ID is just enough he will protect you. He will get to money, we call it money, which may be true to some, which may not be true to some. Yes. It is unsafe for you to be in Qatar without a QID. But it is too bad to be in Qatar without a sponsor. That is something that definitely you need to understand. You can be in the country without a QID, but you have a sponsor. Or you are still under what you call a sponsor's custody. You are working in that company. You are getting accommodation in that company. You are being paid salary in that company and that company knows that you are working and you are paid salary every end of the month. You are more safer than a person who is outside, is not under anyone's custody. He does not have a QID. That person will be in overstay. He can be arrested and no one is going to cover up. Most of the time I tell people, if you don't need the QID, you may not push it out too much. You need to be a little bit patient and knowing how to push which kind of levels for you to follow. But not to jump levels. Because once most of the times these employers get to realize the kind of aversive behaviors that we tentative to, they will tend to eliminate you out of the company. They will terminate you or tell deport you back to your country. So you end up losing the job. And even lose focus of what plans that you had when you are coming in this country. So, yes, we may want the IDs, but let us not push so much. Yes, the law requires us to have the ID. And the reason that I have to let you know why you are still in that company and you're still in that country or you're still in that country, then you must be sure that your ID is there. It's just that the employer does not want to give you.
to you, depending on that kind of situation that is available. Because you cannot stay in the country for more than three months and you have no details and they cannot track of you because already your visa is yours. So the ID is there, but the employer does not want to give you that ID. So what do you need to do? Or what do you have to do? Your visa will not expire. Let the visa expire when you are still working for that employer. Let your QID expire and you are still working for that employer. It's not your fault. It is his fault. Once your ID expires and you are still under his custody, all the charges, all the extra fees, all the charges will be borne by him, not you to pay up the charges. That is what I have to let you know. So, so long as this person is still paying you salary, is giving you the accommodation, he knows you, you are working in your company, even if you are being arrested by police. Just give the mobile number of the human resource of that company or give the company address. Definitely, they have the records within their systems. Unless you are telling me that you need so much to push, to pressure, or to create all situations for the ID because you want to go out with the ID to do other businesses that are outside or that are not tolerated in the country, then that's where the problem comes from. So, don't create too much situations, especially in this period. It's, it's no minute. They will get rid of you. They will terminate you now. The company buys for you the ticket. It doesn't need your notice to buy for you the ticket and he wants you to exit the country. And if you don't, don't, don't exit the country, you will definitely begin filing what you call filing filing a case against you in Metro. Yes, some of people, some of, sometimes some people talk about what you call termination. And you look at termination. Termination may be in a different way. But remember, what words are written in that termination? If these are words, the bad words that are written in that termination, that because of aversive behavior, don't disrespect, don't expect the new employer or the person, much as you have the gross period of 30 days to look for a job, for the person will ask you to give us the termination. You get to read through the termination and it is all spitting what you call bad words against you. He will not recruit you up. So I think that will be the best option for you. It is to stay cool. Approach every situation in a very smart way. And let alone, they will give you the ID. That is what I have to let you. That is sharing it my own view. Because I've never stayed in a company for one full year. And there's no ID for me. The next year, I did not know when even the first ID expired. But I will go to work, come to see it. I will go shopping. I was even one time stopped by the police. And when police asked me, I, I told them my employer. And I gave my, the number of my human resource. They put in the system, they put the company in the system. Just a few minutes, they told me, no, go. So unless you're going to use that ID to do what you call immoral or to do activities that are not allowed in the country, then there's no so much time, time when you need to worry, especially in the situation where you have your target. And you are still employed by the company, you are still paid, and you are under, still under company accommodation. Hope I've tried to share a little bit of my experience. You can pick out a few things, get that advice, and see what is the better uh, uh, thing that you can do. But don't create an hostile environment for that employer. He will get rid of you. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember, I'm Mix from the Mix Creation, and I am Mix. And from the my TikTok account, I'm a young mix and mix creation giving all the updates. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.